every every time I see it too, I'm like, fuck yeah. Let's go bring it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it's it too. Really everything about it. I'm like, fuck I drive Joe by Biden. a sign that says it every morning. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you got all the flags and the stickers and shit, man. Right You're like the yeah, whole world yeah. loves me, man. <laughs> like finally, people are starting to appreciate me for who I really am. <laughs> yeah, for real. I might not be a NASCAR driver, but everyone's cheering for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great, perfect, yeah, perfect, play, perfect. Camilla, play that song. For me. Oh. Come on, play that song. On the registry, we got me, Austin. We got Ledger, Jared, and Brandon tonight. Sharon is beautiful, as always. So is Ledger with his beautiful mullet. And we got Brandon, um, who's just so much of beautiful. It's I can't even describe words for it. It's the beard. It's it's everything. That's fucking <laughs> <laughs> you just put us all together in one. The fucking perfect specimen. You're the yeah. sticky glue <laughs> that keeps us He's stuck the together. <laughs> the yeah. Like, brand like the glue. Brand beard, Ledger's fucking mullet, and I don't know what we can offer, but you know, just the, maybe it's just them too. I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know exactly what Austin's about to say. I got offer my my big nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jerry, my my, all- my brown skin. Fuck, I don't know, man. I don't know what I got. <laughs> dude. Austin, Austin, hey, you Austin brings the thumb penis. Yeah, the thumb penis. <laughs> That's so funny. Fucking big fucking. I don't, I'm not gonna finish. It. We are we are like the Power Rangers when they turn into one and turn into like this great, like the Megazord. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, the Megazord. <laughs> it's like there a rip off movie. of Transformers. <laughs> no, dude, dude Transformers. The, Oh, dude! Oh, fuck the fucking Power Rangers. Wasn't it weird? You ever thought about it? Now, like the motherfucker, you know the one who played the flute, the Power Ranger. Didn't he play a flute? Oh, you guys remember? That I don't shit? even. I haven't watched Power Rangers in so long, but I would not hold it past Power Rangers to play a flute. I'm pretty sure a bunch of Power Rangers oh, oh, played the up. flute. It's like, how the fuck did he play a flute? He had a mask on. Man. I was think of that. I was watching the him, skin like, flute, oh. baby. Oh fuck, he's playing the flute again. Shit's going, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, know it was it was probably kind of racist too. He's probably a white guy playing an Indian flute, Native American. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so like I'm eagle came out or some shit. That's funny. I don't know. I don't know. We could be some sort of transformer guys, some sort of a militant transformer group, domestic terrorists. Look at us go. That sounds really gay. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it all gay? It just might work. It's so gay. It (laughs) might just light this fire. (laughs) Just gay enough. Oh, yeah. The Green Ranger would play. His sword was a flute. Yeah. The green one. It is the Green Ranger. That's the one, dude. Yeah, yeah so he'll be fucking playing the flute. With- That's such bullshit. That Green Ranger was smoking weed out of that flute. He's a yeah, liar. Yeah, no shit. No, he's smoking PCP, dude. He's getting ready for a fight. He's like, I don't want to feel any of this shit. For real. I'm not no, going to no, remember any. No, because look at hey, who, who takes who takes a break before a fight to play a flute. Come on, we both know that guy's getting high as fuck. It's like, I'm just calming myself. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Hold on, real quick, while I smoke these amphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta go down to the 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 can distribution center to find that. So true. I, I, I never questioned it, dude. Never, never questioned oh, no. it until now. Oh um, no! How do you send a picture? Can you send a picture in the chat? Why are you trying to send us pictures? Yeah, sure. Oh shit. He's trying to show us what else he brings. <laughs> you should <laughs> you should donate that mullet to some uh wait, Ledger's underage, right? Oh yeah. No. Oh I'm wow, so I'm I'm probably going to prison for that comment. <laughs> yes, you <is. laughs> I'm um, just kidding. No, um, Ledger. Um, at Ledger's, least put in a Google database. A Google like, database. Ledger's nineteen. Hey yo, they don't gotta know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he's fair game. Austin, I'll just <laughs> Austin, I'll just send you it here. Here, show it on your phone. Oh, gross. That's your, no. that's your brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he does have that. a mullet. I will say yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to say. It's like, that thing has a mullet too. Damn. 
No, look, it's the Green Ranger, man. All right, I'll look at this Green Ranger. <laughs> Let me look at this Green Ranger. <laughs> it's not even. It's oh my god. <laughs> It's not even all right. So it's not even a flute. He's holding his sword sideways. And- yes, it's a sword, but there's like a flute in it. Yeah. No, dude. Like, I, that's what I said. I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure I had one of them. Fucking, I got one of those when I was little. It was a fucking flute, and it made the noise and everything. You know, you guys are. You I know, make us high. I didn't get high. I got the wrong one. I got. The <laughs> that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, you know what I was about to go. I think I downloaded the wrong Power Rangers. <laughs> Wait, so what is the, what's, the, what's the Megazord? Was Megazord Power Rangers? Yeah, he was like the, was the, the giant ball like form between all of them. Like Fuck, they yeah, were yeah. so cool when I was younger. Yeah, they were pretty fucking. No, they weren't. They, they were just so on cool. after Scooby Doo, and so you were stuck watching yeah, them because <laughs> you were too scared to go to bed after watching Scooby Doo, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I had to watch Power. I Rangers. love Scooby Doo. Yeah, calm yeah. down a little bit. <laughs> You're like, I still love Scooby Doo. Yeah, those old ones. I do, dude. Like, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll go back and watch Scooby Doo for sure and Tom and Jerry and shit. Oh, Fuck the you old ones. Oh, and my Jerry. God. Yeah. yeah. You guys Literally. seen that Tom and Jerry movie that came out? This thing was so retarded. What are we looking at? I'm watching oh, it in the theaters. Fucking- uh, the the real one where like they're fucking yeah. uh, cartoon. Yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watch it. They it was kind of it was kind of weird. It was weird. It was weird. Was weird. I got you guys right here, the fucking Green Ranger with the flute. I'm gonna try and fucking. Dude, you guys see, can me. you guys see that? I, yeah, he's I, sucking on his sword. We're gonna that have ain't to all no quiet. fucking You're gonna flute. Let's, let's fucking that ain't no I'm sword a either, I guess I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> He's got oh, like a oh, fucking laugh. <laughs> I hate it. I What's in that history, Jaren? Oh damn. Yo. Yo. Oh, wait, where's that? <laughs> no, I didn't even freaking oh, small <laughs> power. <laughs> you know, oh, Ledger kind of looks like a young Kenny Powers. You know what? You know what? Yeah, but Kenny Powers. What did you say? Kenny Powers. Yeah. Yeah, you guys seen that um we all watch that. Uh, yeah, you're right, man. Power Rangers movie with the uh, <laughs> with the Splooge demon. Kenny Powers is pimp, man. What did you watch, Austin? Splooge, Splooge demon. The Splooge demon. That sounds the like hell a is that? Yeah, that sounds weird. Remember that Power yeah. Rangers movie? It was like the Splooge. I don't oh, know. Oh, Doctor Ooze or Mister Ooze or whatever Ooze. the fuck his name is. Oh, yeah. 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 See, yeah. I told you we all Ivan. watched it. Ivan Ooze, right? I, I yeah, yeah I, I remember been, watching that shit I with Michael been, back in the day, man. I knew. Um, yeah. Jer- so so all right, we got we got we got my mold, we got um his Brandon's beard, we got Austin's nose. Jaren, we don't have to add anything. He's just he's from Hawaii. That's all we got to say, man. I don't know if it's my nose or my got, my tongue. Action. All right, he's from all right, he's from Hawaii, and he's not. He doesn't look like a swollen Mexican. <laughs> swollen Mexican. That's what he's dude. making fun of the fucking islanders, yeah, so man. So... No, they're no, they're sick, man. They're really no, cool. I'm they're not gonna lie. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I watched a porno with Jaren in it the other day. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know what's going on. Send that shit over. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? What's what's the one? <laughs> what, what was the uh, what was the fucking what was going on? Was it a uh, what was the uh, situation? Oh, no. it was gay. Oh fuck! Oh, he's like, fuck! I thought I fucking didn't. T- I, I thought I didn't put that one out. Fuck. No, I, no. I, I I saw someone um that looked so much like you that was famous the other day. I think it was it might have been in politics, and I was like, Jared looks just like this guy, but better. Yeah, yeah, like Jared looks better than this guy. Like, like they almost look the same. I'm not race being racy right now. I'm just saying you literally. I'm being racy. <laughs> you did. You look like this guy, but you look better. You know what I mean? He looked like you, but a douche. <laughs> kind of an <All> asshole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this dude. Politics. So he was he was brown. Was he a was he a black guy? I can't remember. No, he wasn't a black guy. He was definitely exactly what he was. Definitely exactly what you are. He was definitely exactly. 
<laughs> no, like I saw him, and I was like, holy sense. shit, is that Jaren? I was like, nah. Jaren, Jaren's way cooler than this guy. I'm yeah. fuck politics. Bro. Never, ever, ever be in politics. Unless you ran for governor of Hawaii and you know, bring me a fork. Dude, I'm I'm trying to run for governor of Hawaii. I'm trying to get it out there. You guys should I, all just run and just take over. And run my argument is, hey, I've never been here, so I can't fuck it up the same way everyone else has. <laughs> it's all you need, man, at this point. Fuck. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like... Just run let, for governor in Oregon. <laughs> let's, give, let's give everyone a yeah. gun, except the children... Um, My children goes too. I got let's like six, let's seven. make abortion very hard. <laughs> let's decrease taxes, and let's um. I don't know. Do you guys have any school shooting problems over there? No. Where I don't have in Hawaii. In Hawaii? No, no. We don't. Like really what? That. What is your biggest problem? You got gangs and shit, or what? Uh, not really. I mean, there is, but it's not crazy. Like. Fucking what, LA or what would you say uh, is like the most like um, personified version of your guys's actual problems? I heard they have a really bad uh, meth issue on the yeah some drugs. Of the islands. Yeah, yeah. Man, so where where the f- drugs? Where the fuck is that coming from? Well, I guess it could be being made there because it's not that big of a fucking place. Mm. Which yeah, meth is a good one. There's a lot of homeless people, but I'm sure you guys got. I mean, that's not really a freaking huge problem, but it's because people go there um, and don't have a plan. No. Yeah, probably. No, I seen this one. Oh my god, it was crazy. One one lady, she had a sign and she said she's a homeless vegan <laughs> or a houseless, houseless, <laughs> houseless vegan, and she had this whole fucking thing. I don't know what she. I couldn't even read it, but it was so long. It said houseless vegan. Blah, 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 yeah, and her son it, was it, right there. It's a weird to me when vegan. people are begging. When people are begging and still trying to like be specific on what they need. It's yeah, like, yeah. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Buddy, I mean, they're just heavy choosers, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck? I'm not gonna like. Oh, man, it's crazy. Here's, if you're hungry, you got to eat a fucking sandwich. Yeah, it's you know? you're not, it's. You're yeah, not gonna wait for, sure. for a head of head of lettuce. You know it's I mean? it's with standards. It's it's. I'm a homeless vegan with standards. And good luck surviving <laughs> on that shit when you have to live on the street That's too, man. Is. Like you need. To like sustain. <laughs> Would you love that? Oh my gosh! I'm, yeah. I'm a homeless vegan, but I have standards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I'm homeless, but I have standards. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no, you, gotta, you. No, you, gotta, you <laughs> and gotta your you fucking created, made self, fucking ultimately, you know, disguised yeah. problems as some sort of, you know, diplomacy. Uh, yeah, that's fucking crazy. I definitely could see the homeless market there, you know, with the amount of boats dropping people off and not vetting them beforehand. Would you guys, you know, that's what I should, I, I should, I should run for the, um, Hawaiian governor and go, we're going to build a wall, but we're um, going to, we're going to build it out. We touched ocean. on that subject before though, with the whole, uh, um, bailouts for the homelessness like <clears throat> in California. Like, look, remember when we looked up the budget on, uh, the California homelessness for each year, how much people it's are making. It's so of it. hard to compare anything to California, yeah. though. Like Any, I just, I just well, remarked earlier. Look like at California, even in Oregon or other states, though. Like yeah. they put so okay. much money into the homeless situation, and like really, all that it is is just like a fucking kickback. Like they are putting so much money into it; it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. That like if they dedicated like even a percentage of that money towards the actual problem and like sort of hiring and outsourcing, like people to help the homeless situation or like making fucking, I don't know, some kind of sustainable living situation for people that are of like low income or disabled or whatever. Like it's not going there at all whatsoever. Mm -mm. And it probably won't start anytime soon. No. And here's the gap. I just drove by my town's McDonald's (laughs) earlier and they have a sign out um, hiring $15 an hour. Oh yeah. Here in Milton, they have that. And <clears throat> that's absolutely fucking insane to me. Yeah. And I mean, you got homeless people, you got veterans, you got real homeless people, you know what I mean? Blah blah blah. Yeah. And and ten miles away in Walla Walla, I just drove by a guy with a sign that said anything helps. I should 
show them a picture of the fuck. I mean, literally it, I mean, like, I don't want to be an asshole. You know what I mean? Like certain people have certain problems and blah, 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 blah. But those people can also get on, um, you know, the welfare system very fucking easily, just as easy as anybody yeah. else can, you know, Those I mean, things. a lot of them struggle with even getting over that hump on actually like getting to a place to get help to like, sometimes yeah. the hardest part of any situation is like finding the help, knowing who is there to help you or actually like being able to like get the transportation or means to like access the internet or like a cell phone, like, which, and then there's the flip side where there's a lot of homeless people, man, that have, they have they're pretty fucking set you know what i mean or people that should be homeless that know how to use the system that if if you're homeless in a place like california or oregon or somewhere like that Mm -hmm. and if you know how to fill out some fucking paperwork and make some phone calls you're not going to be homeless for very fucking long you might be on a wait system or a wait list or anything like that but like there are proactive things you can do to get the help that you need to get into a place but at the same time like not not a lot of people have the middle capacity to know or even ask her where to start with anything like that. And so it's just easier right. to fucking sit on the side of the road. I think that's a minority. Um, the, yeah. the people that and when actually, you're getting high and shit. Exactly. When you're getting and high and shit too, in like, California and in Oregon <laughs> and in Washington, I think most of them, that is their plan is to get high and to continue to get high. This guy did not mm-hmm. look high. I will say that he did not look like a crackhead. He did look yeah. like, a little roughed up but he was about my age and he's holding that sign and it, he didn't look like you know what i mean like i i'm not the asshole like oh d- you know i'm not gonna give money to that guy no i'm i'm not actually like if, if someone looked like they actually needed help i don't think they'd necessarily stand at a corner they go to a church and the church would help them or they go or they go to a city hall and someone would help them like i will yeah. give money to people that actually fucking need it but listen, if I'm ever in that better. spot in my life at any point in time, I better I better receive the same kind of conjunctionary fucking you know, diplomacy on it's that. It's easy. It's easy to be like that sometimes, but at the same time, like um, it's different. Like when you go somewhere and there's just miles and miles <clears throat> and miles of people that are like, yeah, you would help a hundred of those people, but you can't. Like, what do you fucking do? You know what I mean? Right. Like, there this was just a guy like, on the side like, of the road. You see a, like a guy and his wife and his three kids, and you go, fuck, man, they're sleeping outside in this mm-hmm. shit, and I want to help these guys. And so you give them 20 bucks. Then you go down the road another fucking quarter mile, and there's another fucking guy with his daughter or two mm-hmm. daughters or a dog <laughs> or or even if it's a guy that just needs a fucking beer. Like, yeah. I give a lot of money to people that I really can't afford to give to every time I go to the city because I just can't fucking help it. I give them food out. I'm giving clothes out, blankets, yeah. socks. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I'm not like trying to say like I'm like the nicest guy in the world or anything, but like it's right. so fucking hard to like see. You know how it is to like be from a town like this, and we don't really see it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like it's not something that we even think about. And then you go somewhere that is like the total opposite. It's like mm-hmm. you just see people smoking crack and beating the fuck out of each other, and yeah. fucking dirty needles all over, yeah. and human shit, yeah, and they're just the- laying in the stuff, just sleeping and, in it. And most of them living it. This isn't. This isn't like a big city. Like this guy was definitely <laughs> fully functional. There's signs all around. Yeah. Him. This was a scam, is what it was. I mean, if I drove uh, by yeah. a family, there's like that, that too bad. The first yeah. thing I want to say is, "Where's DHS? Where's my taxes yeah. going?" Um, you know what I mean? Because Portland, DHS though, won't just take so, your kids so and put you in a like place that. to yeah. live. Yeah. You know, the, they will. They will help you, yeah. especially you know under the grain like that. So, I mean, that's what I think too. And it's just. I mean, there's no vetted system of homelessness. I mean, these, you know, like all the reports, this guy could have just been like, oh, I'm short on rent right now. I have a house and a nice car, but I'm short on rent and I'm a lazy fuck. And, you know, stood on the corner because that's where the people that actually need it want. And I mean, that's what it seemed like. I'm like, he's like, anything helps. And I'm like, dude, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like the amount of job opportunities right now. And I'm not just saying job, like if you went, if you went to an employer, like even a private business, which is sad um, that, that like a, that like a non-private business, like a, like a corporation, um, like, you know, Walmart or McDonald's or, you know, Taco Bell, 
that you couldn't, you know, it's less likely, but with a smaller <laughs> business, you could actually go in and go, Hey, I'm hard on fucking times. I will work my ass off. Can I have this much amount of money up front? Take it out of my first, second paycheck, however much. And most of them, you know, if you talk to them, right, a lot of them will go, yeah, you know, um, so that, that fixes the money problem right there. You know, if you need some place to stay or you could tell me like, I have no place to fucking stay. I'll bust my fucking ass. Like, that's who I am. That's what I'll do. Um, you yeah. can get help. I mean, it's not hard getting help. And honestly, I could fucking 10 out anywhere. You know what I mean? And work. I mean, fuck at this point in day and age, the minimum wage is so fucking um, high. You might as well. I've actually sit seen up. a statistic and I think it said something along the lines of like one in every three people is actually at least part time employed. So there's actually a huge, um, percentage of people that are actually working, you know, like 20 to 40 hours a month, but that still can't afford housing. Cause is, could you imagine working at somewhere in like in Portland where you're making $12 an hour, $13 an hour? Actually, I think inner city's 15. I think. No, yeah. No one 15, in Portland sure. makes $12 an hour. So if you're making $15 an hour minimum wage and your fucking apartment for a one bedroom, tiny ass apartment is $1,800 a month. Mm-hmm. And that's just for your rent. Like you're still going to be homeless. You can't well, afford anything yeah. like that. You'll be working 300 hours a month and still not exactly. be able to make it. And that's why Seattle looks the way it does. There's highways on yeah. the side, on the side of the highways, um, miles long of people living in, um, like in trucks. In, in I was just in, in Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. You, did you I see was it? Just in Seattle, did man. you see it? Oh, dude, it's sad. I I, I um, never go to like. I I like Seattle. I mean, like, lots of them are like fucking are drug too, addicts. Lots of them are drug addicts, but a there, lot man. of them is because they can't afford the yeah. housing there. But my thought was on if you're not a drug addict and you're not a you you know you don't have a system like that, why don't you leave? Go park your shit out here in the middle of fucking nowhere and come work here in Milton for fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah why are you problems. staying in Seattle? I think that the reason that these people are staying here. Uh, or staying there in Seattle, I, I honestly do think is because most of them are drug addicts. I mean, if you had a brain between well, years and you're going, I can't afford this shithole. I'm not getting anything here. I'm staying in a fucking camper or a camper van or in the back yeah. of my fucking vehicle. It, it, it's hard. It's hard to get out of the system and out of like the same thing that you've done for so long at the right. same time. So I like, I understand like breaking the cycle and like, not having an out, like a lot of people don't feel like they have the option or the control in their own life to be able to make a decision like that. They don't know where to start. They don't know right. who to ask. They don't like, you know, just to play devil's advocate, like, yeah, people need to take some self responsibility and like figure out what they need to do in life. But, you know, on the other side of the coin, when you grew up just like in a desperate situation, your parents just fucked you off the whole time. And, you know, you were never taught these skills on how to actually deal with like getting out of a systematic fucking deprivate you know what i mean like you're just going to be in that fucking hump your whole life like some people you know they, they were never taught and they're never going to get this in or the self-awareness to be able to like hey this is fucking me up and this is like the not what i want my life to be like they can right. say that all they want but they still have to have like the initial like day one like okay i'm fucking doing this like it could it and, could and be do which it. it could be like which is up. hard to do we can talk about how easy it is all day but. sorry ledger it <laughs> could know? be You're um good. Like a uh, abusive relationship, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like um, where where you just keep coming back because it's all you know, and it's what you're yeah. used to, and you expect the same kind of shitty treatment as you did, and it makes you feel comfortable because you know what you're gonna get, even though it is an abusive relationship. I get that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I really don't know. I asked um the guy. There was that weird noise again. <laughs> I asked the the guy that went up there, uh, my coworker. Uh, which he lived in Seattle and he moved down just this last year because he was like, fuck that shit. And he sold his house. He moved his whole family down here. They built a house down here. And he was um, like, he went up there and he's driving past all these people. And they were mostly past parks, if you notice. And I was like, what is that for? And he was, he was like, it's, it's the tweakers. You know what I mean? And I, I asked his sister and she, you know, she put more on like the whole, uh, like they can't afford it. Like the, 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 I mean, it's so expensive in, in Seattle and stuff. And I mean, everything's going up and in those cities, it's crazy. But I was like, you know, it really is like, 
Um, if it, 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 I mean, it's all on the person, but as we know, as herd mentality is, if all these people are staying, trying to feel like they're getting a handout or something, <laughs> or the drug addictions, it's like they're not going to move on and without a push or without a real big oh, yeah. reason. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that I'll oh, be yeah, right I, back. I, 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 give it I'm to not Ledger. like trying to. Oh yeah, what's up, Ledger? No, go ahead. You can finish. Uh, no, I was just saying, like, I, I, I'm totally not trying to like argue against the whole like people need to take some more self accountability on like showing some initiative and changing their situation like that i 100 percent agree with but it's just you know I, I i just uh i feel for people that uh are just stuck in a situation they're not sure how to get out of yeah yeah that's really sad um i heard this story about this uh older man he was like the six in his uh early 60s i think and he he's, he was homeless for a while and um he went to a bank and told him, give me a dollar or whatever, like, like as kind of like a robbery, just so he could go to jail to, for a place to sleep at night and a meal, you know, it's, yeah, it's really oh, yeah. sad. Yeah. My grandpa will definitely do that for sure. Like he fucking has told me over and over again, he'll purposely get arrested around the holidays because it's fucking cold and they have good food during the holidays. Wait, <laughs> it, wait, which one's your grandpa? My grandpa, Ron. Uh Fucking love your grandpa. Yeah, he's my grandpa Ron. Yeah, he's he's a he's a fun one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, is it your dad or your uncle? That, is your dad Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah. Thought so. Yeah. Yeah. Last time I seen you guys was in 2019. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. I know, right, I remember guys. you when you were, like, just a tiny fucking baby. It was, like, the last time I fucking seen you, like, <laughs> forever ago, or, like, before that. <laughs> it's been a long time. You still there, Austin? Yeah, Ledger's, um, like, this isn't, this isn't just me. This is, uh, many, like, I'd say valiant people that have, I don't know knowledge and a stable mind is that this kid is uh very intelligent for his age which i'd say being like the youngest of the group is very very sincere plus he has a very handsome and notable guide that he oh, no, no. <laughs> um I got, I got but surprisingly the um yeah the uh the preemie baby turned out to be very successful when it comes to um being able to like handle himself being able to turn his mind in certain ways and and, and conform around shit because most most kids um of that age it can't do so you know what i mean i mean most most kids in school of you know all ages it seems these days are um conforming to specific beliefs and mindsets that, yeah they get they do what they're told I mean, which is not right. How many stories have you told me in, where you're in school and a teacher's like, liberal teacher is like, you know, pull up your mask and shit. And you're just like, yeah, I'm about fuck to get you. Up, you know, fuck you. And then, um, yeah. you know, and they bring you to the principal's office and, you know, and you go down there and you're like, I'm not wearing this fucking mask. And, you know, or shit oh, yeah. like that. Like, not many people have the balls to do that. Um, in those classes and I mean it's disgusting and walking around and you see kids just like walking the streets uh wearing the mask or you know conforming to or shit. in their cars in, in a car wearing the mask yeah in the cars or like you're literally being like attempted brainwashed by um channel news CNN 10 um you know watch this this is your civics you know or history teacher you know pay attention to this this is you know this is the news like pay attention oh, yeah. to that and well, you last, literally last call year, them out you know yeah last year i called out my teacher for trying to get us to watch cnn yeah like, and yeah no this is <laughs> you and yeah. lily both fucking had me in an argument almost with your teacher i remember at one i think it was yeah lily um this time do or whatever had yeah had me on the phone while she was in class arguing with her fucking teacher <laughs> and i'm like yeah. I'm, I'm just telling i'm just telling her what to say and she's just 
she's just repeating it and he's like getting angry <laughs> you know like oh yeah well what about you know like you know and it's just just liberal constructive mindset and yeah she went through a little phase she's trying to be rebellious you know and i want to say Democrat. i'm not i'm mm-hmm. not like some of the the actual real old time liberal um idealism is not what i'm against and it, you know with that it's the new age scream at you destroy attack you know you don't have a right to speak your you know and that's mm-hmm. that's what the right used to allegedly be i mean you know and i like that video that i saw earlier this week i um i think jay sent it and it was like um that homeless guy talking and he was like fuck what was it it was if you don't have democrats in a republican society you have marxism and if you don't have republicans in a democrat society you have communism exactly it's two sides based on fighting each other but without the other you literally fall apart Mm -hmm. yeah which i'm very i'm pretty open like minded like i'll hear what you have to say but most of it's just retarded you know, like what they what they're trying to say makes no sense. And you retarded know? is um what it is is it's it's extremism. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. So that's that's what you're getting at is yeah, it's so dumb that you can't fathom it. Well that's called extremism. But guys, I want to throw in this topic because me and Jaron were talking about it earlier. And I think he Oh no, he's back. All right, I'm not gonna be able to see if he's here or not. Um, so I'm here. Yeah, I'm. So, I'm here. Sorry, my baby had to like. There you go. Do you want to bring it in? <clears throat> the about the fuck. I don't even know how to say it correctly. Um, I think it's Ben, ben and, and Dante. Ben and Dante. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, Is it shit, encrypted? Man. It technic. Well, it's. It's technically a cryptid. It's a historical product of... Um, I think I've heard about that. Ben and Dante. I actually never heard about it until uh, Jaren had mentioned it to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was looking I was looking into like cryptid and stuff. That name sounds really familiar, but... So um, it's not It's not a being. It's not a... Never animal. heard of it. Um, it's actually a... Like, it's almost a religious belief... Um, a lot of the places you'll see now the um, corruption of it, we'll call it a cult. Um, however, it's it's pretty much the furthest thing from a cult when you really look at it. Um, like what it what it is and what happened and everything. Uh, Jaron, do you do you want to throw any input on this before I start reading? Um, okay. So- yeah, you know, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I'll throw in some stuff real quick. Sorry, I got my this little baby right here trying to keep quiet um so yeah i mean you're good I know, this all this all kind of started where you know there's there's all these just fucking you know bad fucking groups out there you know i mean the freemasons um the illuminati of course fucking skull and bones um black boule fuck there's like so many fucking bads like where are the, where are the fucking good guys at you know so i mean i don't know i just came across it real quick uh, the Ben and Dantes, uh, supposedly they're, um, <clears throat> supposedly they're, uh, they call them the, the, uh, what is that? The Hounds of, is it the Hounds of Heaven? Is that what they call them? Hounds of Heaven? Hounds There's of something Heaven else. or the Good There's Walkers. There's another one. Yeah, the Good Walkers. That's the other one. Hounds of Heaven or the Good Walkers. Uh, so they basically fight evil and witches in their sleep, but they take on, uh, a form of another animal or something. Um, like, uh, a big one was a wolf. Um, so they're actually called werewolves too. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I didn't really dig into it too much, but I know you did Austin. So you can just take it away from here, man. Cause you, I, I seen what you, what you wrote me and I was like, holy shit. That was some. Yeah. yeah. So I want to read, um, I want to read some things. Um, and if the word, cult comes up i want that to be ignored um but i'm not going to misread what i'm reading because of where it's coming from um and i know the history i know everything about it but i kind of want to like put it into um specific words for this so i don't i don't want to just go off of memory yet i will at the end but 
So here on Wikipedia, it's the Benendanti quote, good walkers. All right. So they were members of an agrarian visionary tradition in the Fruli district of northeastern Italy during the 16th and 17th century. The Benendanti claimed to travel out of their bodies while asleep to struggle against malevolent, malevolent witches, which were called Malendanti, in order to ensure good crops for the season to come. Between 1575 and 1675, in the midst of the early modern witch trials, a number of Benendanti were accused of being heretics or witches under the Roman Inquisition. So... Quite a while after the Romans killed Jesus, they started burning witches that weren't on their side, obviously. So let's skip over to this one. The Benendanti, participants in the lingering remnants of an ancient Argarian, here's the word, cult, in northern Italy, which came to the attention of the Inquisition in the late 16th century because of the cults, there it is again, nocturnal battles with witches and warlocks over the fertility of the crops and livestock. So what the Benedanti did was their main focus was on the livestock because back then that's what they had, what they needed to survive um, was the growth of their livestock, whether it was winter, summer, fall, you know, um, was that's what they that's what they flourished on, whether it would be trade or anything, it was on their livestock. The term Benendanti means good walkers. The cult flourished in the Fruli region of Italy as isolated area where Italian, German, and Slavic traditions met and mingled. The Benendanti were comprised of men and women born of the call, that is, with the inner fetal membrane still covering the body, especially the head. This was a sign not only of the Benedanti, but of superpower, supernatural powers of healing, the bewitched and the powers to see witches. Some Benedanti saved their calls and wore them around their necks as amulets of talisman. So, um, it is said that not all of them, right, but a bunch of them had a call when they were born. It's called a call. It's a piece of membrane that, that covers the newborn's head and face. Um, it's rare occurring in, occurring now in fewer than one in 80,000 births. So it's, it's just a membrane. Um, yeah, it covers the face. It has something to do with the third eye, honestly, is what it comes, is it, what it comes from. Um, they were compelled to serve their villages during the ember days, the changing of the seasons marked by the solstices and equinoxes. <clears throat> At midnight, usually on Thursday, but sometimes on Friday or Saturday of the Ember Days, they were summoned, sometimes by drums or, as tradition has had it, by angels. If they did not respond promptly and were late, they were severely beaten. They left their bodies and their spirits assumed the shape of butterflies, mice, cats, and hares. They went to the Valley of Josephat in the center of the world where they met the army of witches and warlocks. Also in spirit guises, the Benedanti would be armed with stalks of fennel, renowned for its healing properties. The witches would be armed with sorghum stalks, a type of millet perhaps identified with brooms. For an hour or several hours, the opposing spirit armies engaged in battle, beating each other with their stalks. If the Benedanti won, the year's crops would be abundant. If the witches won, storms would plague the growing and harvesting seasons, and famine would ensue. After the games, quotes, as the battles were called, the Benendanti and the witches passed by houses looking for clean water to drink. If they found none, the witches entered the cellars and either overturned the wine casks or drank the wine and urinated in the casks. <clears throat> we'll skip back to this one. So, we're going to go from blink to blink. According to early modern records, Benedanti were believed to have born with a call on their head, which gave them the ability to take part in nocturnal visionary traditions that occurred on specific Thursdays during the year. During these visions, it was believed that their spirits rode upon various animals into the sky and off to places of the courtside. Here they would take part in various games and other activities with other Benedanti. The battle malevolent witches who threatened both their crops and the communities used sticks of sorghum when 
not taking parts in these visionary journeys, the Benendati were also believed to have magical powers that could be used for healing. In 1575, the Benendati first came to the attention of Fruidian church authorities when a village priest, Don Bartolomeo um, Barzia, began investigating the claims made by the Benendati um, Pelo Gasparato. Although Sigbarzia soon abandoned his investigations, in 1518 or 1580, the case was reopened by the Inquisitor Fra Felicia de Montefaso, who interrogated not only Gasparato, but also a variety of other local Benendati and spiritual mediums, ultimately condemning some of them for the crime of heresy. Under pressure by the Inquisition, these nocturnal spiritual travelers were of assimilated to the diabolical ser- stereotype of witches of the Sabbath, leading to the extinction of the Benendati cult. The Inquisition's denunciation of the visionary tradition led to the term Benendante becoming synonymous with the term Strigha, meaning witch in Fruilian folklore right through the 20th century. So um, this is actually like a cover, a very heavy cover of what was going on back then. So it originated in witches attacking um, these groups of peoples is, is, is the actual story is, is witches attacking um, large groups or members of field, like fields of people, like their harvest and shit. Right. So when it would happen, these people would starve to death. All of a sudden, somehow through the calling of angels, through the magic of angels, through the through the music of angels, these people started being called, and they would come to in their dreams fight these witches, is what it is, and they would like the stories say they would ride animals and they would carry staffs and different we- weapons. Um, ultimately, ultimately made out of spiritual energy. Um, so it could be any weapon. Also, most of the time, these people actually transformed into animals, specifically being, um, wolves or wolf people, which therefore goes the whole, um, werewolf event of that. Now, it's very hard to find in like new legislation of what it was because they, they say it's a cult of people that, you know, and it tries to it tries to throw it into um the whole uh the lifestyle of paganism. These weren't pagans. These these were Christians, is what it was. And these people literally stood up and 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 fought against this. And it was back before they I mean, like the whole witch burning thing, they did it for years and years and years, which is funny listening to the Romans talk about burning witches because still to this day, the Romans are still doing witchcraft, which we now know as the Roman Catholic Church, which they use for children. But it's like if you're not our witchcraft, you're we're gonna call you witchcraft and we're gonna burn you at the stake. So these certain people um, could go to bed in their beds at night, wake up as animals or mixed animal hybrids um, using spiritual weapons or not to fight witches or demons and things like that and be able to go to war with them to stop them from doing horrible things, which back then the horrible things were destroying their crops and causing them to watch their family their wives their children the elderly uh to starve to death for the next year so they call it a cult um that's very fucking suspect to me as well as like the whole idea of i mean them just calling them witches too they weren't witches they weren't practicing magic that's exactly what this was these definitions are hard to go by. I mean, you can find them all over, but when you really dig deep into it, you find out a lot about them. They weren't witches. They didn't do magic. What it was was like it was it was like a god given kind of thing. It came from angelic beings, not fallen angels, not demons, but angelic beings and God. Allegedly, in that, um, 
Yeah, they were fighting just to sustain life, is what it was. So that's what the Ben and Dante were. And they were a race, and the reason they are no longer why we don't have a whole lot of shit on them is because, unlike the witches, you know, the witches got called out, they fought for what they believed in, they cast spells, they did whatever. Maybe, you know, a lot of them burned, but how many were there, especially in today's age, looking at what's going on? Um, the Ben and Dante just kind of backed out. People started calling them witches and witchcraft and demons and shit. And they just kind of backed up and disappeared. Did that end the cycle of the Ben and Dante? I don't know. But literally, you're seeing something very prevalent in history. Very strong in history. That a very strong background. Every part of it was very strong. Very strong group. The group was not a cult. It was shit that they were proving to themselves literally get called witches. They back out and cease to exist for the rest of history. So there's a great, very strong, like very, in my opinion, very strong possibility that these, um, oh, what's it called? Um, well, like the history of them or the, you know, like how we have certain things that we bring with, you know, different religions or different beliefs or different it's customs uh like customs of this could still be alive today very thoroughly and the smart thing they did was just back up and go nope wasn't me you know or i didn't do it or you know ultimately what happened is is one guy took the hit in the end of it one guy took the hit one or two guys and was like yeah, it's real. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck that. And he was like on trial or whatever trial back then, quote on, you know, quote, um, and burned at the stake. And the rest of them just disappeared after that. So that's fucked up. That's the story of the Ben and Don team. <clears throat> that's so fucking interesting to me. So me, fucking interesting. Me dude. too, dude. I mean, maybe they I mean, they, there's no, these guys just, I mean, they just sound like regular fucking farmers that, you know, kind of reminds me of what they were. Like, they were yeah, just, just regular it, farmers. It kind of reminds, reminds me of just like, like, you know, like the fucking Indians or something, you know, like the American uh-huh. Indians. This, was, um, this is the kind of vibe I'm getting here. It was, they were just, they were just, <clears throat> I mean, as the story goes, they were just farmers. <clears throat> and one day he started being attacked by witches. <clears throat> And started going to sleep and having angelic um, intervention. And yeah, they're and, giving the power to fight back. Yeah. And that's what was going on. And then started fighting back. And then once they ended up coming out and saying like, because it, it kind of happened like they were like, um, yeah, these people are witches. This we know this. And they're like, how do you know this? And they're like, because we fucking fight them at night. That's it's why they started. Wild, that's why, that's why they started burning them. Yeah. Is because they were like, cause we fight against them at night in our sleep. And they were like, excuse me. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. You must be a witches too. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? That's exactly what happened was they, that's how they got found out was because they're like, yeah, we've been, we fight them in our sleep. And they were just regular ass farmers, regular ass people. And they're like, yeah, we fight them in our sleep. We go to sleep and we wake up riding animals or we become animals and we have staffs and swords and shit and we fight them. And if we win, we our harvests are good. And if we don't, our harvests are fucking bad. That is fucking wild. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, I just, I'm just curious to see if, I mean, where, you know what I mean? There, there has to be, there's no way they're just completely dead. Yeah, they're in hiding or whatever, but. That's then, what I think. When the fuck when is it time for you to come back out of the darkness and get back into the fight? I mean, cause right. witchcraft people keep like, I think we were talking about it before. I mean, don't get confused just because there's no fucking like you, you know, witchcraft. It's like a, you can see it nowadays too, but people don't really realize it. What, what's it, that it's going on just because it's not right in front of your face. Some fucking witch doing, doing her spells doesn't mm-hmm. mean it's not witchcraft. There's fucking witchcraft going all over. I mean, happening all over the fucking place. Hollywood is a bunch of fucking witchcraft, mm-hmm. you know? So, I mean, I don't know, man, it's just getting, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, I feel like we need, we need some fucking soldiers. Um, if any of you guys are listening, wake the fuck up and let's go. 
You know, wake up. Fuck, let, let, let's go. Wake up. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've talked about it before. We've had some experiences with this shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, you fucking more, but I don't know. I just, it just, it's fucking, it's so interesting to me. All right. Definitely. I, I got to dig into oh, yeah. it more. Um, yeah, did you guys see what I said in chat? In the chat? I did not. I didn't see no, anything no, no. in the chat. But Jerry, oh I was, uh, up there eating. What'd you say? Most of the shit in the, in these stories, um, <clears throat> like actually like a hundred percent of it almost is reading between the lines. You know what I mean? Um, I could show another, n- another story like of, of different things that have happened, <clears throat> in different places, different, different types of cryptology and shit where it's like you just have to read between the lines. The fae. <clears throat> The Fae is a big oh. one. Um, but there's, there's an Irish werewolf actually. Um, that's, that has nothing to do with this. Um, but when you read the stories of it, you have to just look between the lines and go, literally, this thing is like, or am I going to say it's real? But I'm going to say, read between the lines of what it's trying to say and you'll get it. You know what I mean? This shit was, the Ben and Dante were covered up. They shut their mouths. They disappeared. And then as yeah, I, I feel like they just moved, <clears throat> or like went to hiding because they all wanted to kill him, you know? Yeah. But and they I allowed him to I be called a cult. They kept on, oh yeah. Which they weren't, a, they were not a cult. It was a bunch of, Mm-mm. it was, it was a group of farmers. And they didn't just show up one day going, this is what we believe in. It was lit, like the actual story is like people started having these experiences one at a time. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, I, I don't know, but, or, so did you know, like, where it originated from? Where the Ben Nunti originated from or whatever? It's Italy, right? Yeah, it's I'm Italy. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Italy. Which is very interesting when it being it. Italy, very interesting. Very, which I don't know. I definitely feel like like the whole skinwalkers and all that, you know, with like the Native Americans and and you know, because yeah, the entire U- United States is an Indian burial ground. Yeah, I like to say yeah. that. Yeah, no, not that, not that, like because of massacre well, or not- anything, but because they used to bury um all over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and it, it, it's just, it's just fucking, like, people, I like to take the focus on this and go to, um, I like to pinpoint, like, the witch trials. Like, people think of Salem as the witch trials. That wasn't even the first witch trials in the United States, like, when it was the United States. We did this before in the Connecticut version, right? It, so it wasn't even in Salem, Massachusetts. It was before then. And it happened hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before then. They've been burning witches for like most of humanity's existence. astral if you like this make sure to like and subscribe for more breakdowns brought to you by the collective minds podcast you can find us on youtube spotify pandora and anywhere else you like to stream from check us out